Hello everyone! In this video, we will discuss Shirley Anita St. Hill Chisholm, a civil rights leader. Before we continue, we want to welcome you to Color My Culture. Born on November 30th, 1924 in Brooklyn, New York, Shirley was the oldest of four daughters to immigrant parents. Her father, Charles St. Hill, was a factory worker from British Guyana. And her mother, Ruby Seal St. Hill, was a seamstress from Barbados. She grew up in a working-class household in Brooklyn, New York, and also lived in Barbados for a while when she was a young child. Shirley graduated from Brooklyn Girls High in 1942 and from Brooklyn College in 1946, where she earned a degree in sociology. She earned a master's degree in early childhood education from Columbia University in 1951. Although some of her professors encouraged her to consider a political career, she replied that she faced a double handicap as both black and female. At first, Shirley worked as a nursery school teacher and then as a daycare center director and educational consultant for the New York City Division of Daycare from 1959 to 1964. In 1949, she married Conrad Q. Chisholm, an investigator. The couple had no children and divorced in February 1977. Shirley was always aware of unfair treatment of people of color and women. She joined local chapters of the League of Women Voters, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is NAACP, the Urban League, as well as the Democratic Party Club in Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn. She got into politics in the 1960s and was a member of the New York State Assembly. In 1968, she ran for Congress and won, representing Brooklyn's 12th Congressional District. During her time in Congress, Shirley was a champion for civil rights education, and gender equality. She co-founded the Congressional Black Caucus and was a force to be reckoned with. In 1972, Shirley made history again when she ran for president, becoming the first Black woman to seek the nomination of a major political party. Although she did not win the nomination, her campaign paved the way for other women and minorities to run for president. After Shirley retired from Congress, she kept busy by giving lectures. From 1983 to 1987, she was the Perlington professor at Mount Holy Oak College, and in 1985, she was a visiting professor at Spelman College. She died on January 1st, 2005. Her legacy lives on as a trailblazer for women and minorities in American politics. In 2015, Shirley was posthumously awarded the President Medal of Freedom. Today, we wanted to bring your attention to this American civil rights leader with Caribbean roots, Miss Shirley Anita St. Hill Chisholm. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you learned something new. Follow us at Color My Culture 4 and all social media platforms and consider subscribing to our channel. Have a great day.